Autism Spectrum Quotient, Wikipedia Article Audio The Autism Spectrum Quotient is a questionnaire published in 2001 by Simon Baron Cohen and his colleagues at the Autism Research Centre in Cambridge, UK. Consisting of 50 questions, it aims to investigate whether adults of average intelligence have symptoms of autism or one of the other autism spectrum conditions. More recently, versions of the AQ for children and adolescents have also been published. The test was popularized by Wired in December 2001 when published alongside their article, The Geek Syndrome. It is commonly used for self-diagnosis of Aspirager syndrome and high-functioning autism, although it is not intended to be a diagnostic test. The Fenex Toolkit uses age-specific versions AQ as its adult and adolescent screening protocols for symptoms of autism spectrum disorders. Format Use as a diagnostic tool the test consists of 50 statements, each of which is in a forced choice format. Each question allows the subject to indicate definitely agree, slightly agree, slightly disagree or definitely disagree. Approximately half the questions are worded to elicit an agree response from neurotypical individuals, and half to elicit a disagree response. The subject scores one point for each question which is answered autistically either slightly or definitely. The questions cover five different domains associated with the autism spectrum, social skills, communication skills, imagination, attention to detail, and attention switching slash tolerance of change. Factor analysis of sample results have been inconsistent with various studies finding two, three, or four factors instead of five. In the initial trials of the test, the average score in the control group was 16.4, with men scoring slightly higher than women. 80% of adults diagnosed with autism spectrum disorders scored 32 or more, compared with only 2% of the control group. The authors cited a score of 32 or more as indicating clinically significant levels of autistic traits. However, although the test is popularly used for self-diagnosis of Aspirager syndrome, the authors caution that it is not intended to be diagnostic, and advise that anyone who obtains a high score and is suffering some distress should seek professional medical advice and not jump to any conclusions. A further research paper indicated that the questionnaire could be used for screening in clinical practice, with scores less than 26 indicating that a diagnosis of Aspirager syndrome can effectively be ruled out. Mathematicians, Scientists and Engineers It is also often used to assess milder variants of autistic-like traits in typically developing individuals to investigate the continuum hypothesis of autism spectrum condition. Although most students with Aspirager syndrome or high-functioning autism have average mathematical ability and test slightly worse in mathematics than in general intelligence, some are gifted in mathematics and Aspirager syndrome has not prevented some adults from major accomplishments. The questionnaire was tried on Cambridge University students, and a group of 16 winners of the British Mathematical Olympiad, to determine whether there was a link between a talent for mathematical and scientific disciplines and traits associated with the autism spectrum. Mathematics, physical sciences, and engineering students were found to score significantly higher, e.g., 21.8 on average for mathematicians and 21.4 for computer scientists. The average score for the British Mathematical Olympiad winners was 24. Of the students who scored 32 or more on the test, 11 agreed to be interviewed and 7 of these were reported to meet the DSM-4 criteria for Aspirager syndrome, although no formal diagnosis was made as they were not suffering any distress.
The test was also taken by a group of subjects who had been diagnosed with autism or Asperger syndrome by a professional, the average score being 35 and 38 for males and females, respectively.